Hello my gorgeous Libra, welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. This is your message for the second half of May 2023, you'll see this when you're meant to however. Um, thank you for all your likes, subscribes, it's really appreciated because we're a new channel and once people find us they tend not to find us so don't forget to like and subscribe. It's just wonderful to be here, absolutely loving it, hope you're enjoying the reads. Okay we have Cracker, positive energy surrounds you, love, joy and good fortune await exciting and may we have one of these please as our overarching energies and then we'll get into the tarot thank you trustworthy guidance you've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers this idea is real and trustworthy you can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you every step of the way Ask for and be open to receiving our support for everything that you need related to this idea. And cracker, positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy and good fortune await. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Angel Spirit Guides. Right, I'm just going to move that candle slightly. <coughs> Let's get into the tarot. Can I have six major cards, please? And then we'll clarify. Thank you so much. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. We have... The Page of Cups, the Fool Energy, Judgment. What else do we have? Two more, please. Two more for our beautiful, beautiful Libra. The Three of Wands, the Young Emperor there. And what you should do, standing in your power. And finally, we have the world as the outcome. Amazing. We have the five of cups on the bottom. So something has probably been lost for you. So we're going to get into it with some clarifiers. Right. Clarify the ace of cups in reverse. Why is it in reverse, please, angel spirit? Guys, this is past energy to do with the world. What else? End of a cycle. So you've ended a cycle here. Cycle that was close to your heart. And you're working on your stability. What else? Because it caused the tower moment. I can absolutely see that. The breaking down of the old. Right. Page of cups. Page of cups. Beautiful. 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 That's current. The full energy then please for Libra. The full energy for Libra. What's going on here? The new cycle. We've got equilibrium and balance. Amazing. I'm afraid I'm on the floor. Bear with me. Beautiful. Five of uh, swords and the six of cups. And judgment, please. Judgment. This is the obstacle here. So what do we have to see? Okay. Bear with me. Judgment is clarified with the queen of cups, the two of wands and the knight of pentacles. The three of wands, please. The three of wands. Ace of Cups, the right way round. What else? This is what you should do. And the Two of Cups, absolutely beautiful. The world energy, please. The world energy. Something you're working towards. The sun. And at the bottom we have the temperance, which is balancing those emotions out, my beautiful Libra. As you can see, she's pouring from cup to cup. That is heart energy. That is where we serve from. Uh, that's where we should serve from. She's balancing that heart out beautifully. Okay, my beautiful, beautiful Libra. I'm going to grab my cup of tea, take a seat, and we shall begin. Okay, my beautiful, beautiful Libra, we have these trustworthy guidance. You've received a wonderful idea as the answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything you need related to this idea. And positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy and good fortune away. And I can absolutely see that. Uh, that's with Cracker. Okay, my beautiful Libra, we're starting with the past energies. Now, in the past, with the Ace of Cups, in reverse this just tells me that there can be exhaustion despair it can mean um a loss in your faith um love and relationship here 
you know, a love affair could be coming to an end almost. And this is in past energies. And here it tells me that the cycle is now complete with the world. That is the fool's journey. We are starting again here. When this cycle finishes, this is the completion of which. Um, and it's telling me you're trying to sort out your stability here with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, or you have been sorting out your stability. The Queen of Pentacles is very grounded energy. She's practical. She's financially responsible and compassionate. She's developing... Um, things related to the money side of things and her stability because you've been in a tower moment now if this relationship has come to an end of course it's going to put you in a tower moment because it's breaking down the old ways the tower must crumble in order for the foundations to be rebuilt and you to rebuild a new foundation for self here and a new way of thinking and a new way of being especially if you've been in a long-term relationship there so the tower is the breaking down of the old it's clearing the stagnant energy it's freedom from the old it's a disruptive change but one that's going to make you stronger then we're going to the current now this is beautiful we have the page of cups the page of cups is the new stage okay it's the message of love it's creative um inspirational it's falling in love with self again um it can mean a message from family absolutely now we have that with the four of wands the four of wands talks about harvest prosperity um you've been obviously trying to sort out your stability here we're moving forward to you doing so and how you've gained that clarity is finding your inner light you've returned to self because i believe this is about your self-love and you sorting out and putting all your ducks in a row your return to self is absolutely amazing it's finding your own inner light you know what have you got to accomplish and what you already have accomplished it's that sort of introspection stage it's solitude but it's also healing now michael's been with you every step of the way there with the ace of swords that's Michael's sword. That's also telling you to communicate. When the sword of truth comes in, it's communication. The, the ace of swords is all also the mental for thoughts and ideas and truths coming out, okay? It cuts through lies and deception. It means victory and success and justice and truth has prevailed. And that's absolutely awesome, especially if you've gone through this. Because here at the page of cups, as you can see, there's whispers. There's whispers happening on that old tarot card. So, you know it's beneficial for you because we've got the four of wands the hermit and the ace of swords whatever's been said or whatever's happened in this old the past energy this is your time and then we're going to this new beginning and this is in hidden influences at work we have the full you're beginning again this is the this is the end of the cycle and you're beginning the fool's journey you're taking a leap of faith and this is influences in your favor because balance and equilibrium has come into play now this is you know on the new tarot you can see he's given to one but not the other. He's holding the scales. This is if something has been unbalanced, especially if, you know, the the home's been broken down and you're just getting everything into order. Um, you want that balance in a relationship breakdown, don't you? You want equality. And with this new beginning, this is the number of enlightenment. You know, it's a new journey. It's in its infancy and you're inexperienced in it, but you're taking that leap of faith and balance is coming into the situation here. This is equal give and take equal give and take and you've had to be savvy with the five of swords you you're acting in your own interest and that is exactly the right thing to do especially if you've been hurt and you've been in a towel moment you need to act in your own interest now you have fond memories of the past the past if they're fond memories absolutely they're beautiful but don't let it take from your current situation you're standing in your own power you're starting a new cycle here with a full and it's in its infancy now when you're in the full type energy you know it's like a naivety because it's all new and you're very very fragile at this stage so don't let the darkness impact your new beginning that's all i'm going to say there we're then going to obstacles to overcome we've got judgment and this is you basically laying your past to rest and release your past selves forgive others and yourself it's the inner calling also for opportunity but it's the obstacle so it's talking about your past energy because we've got it here so you need to release the past in order to move forward because i can see here it's absolutely phenomenal so judgment blows its horn when it wants you to listen now it wants you to balance your heart chakra out there with the queen of cups she's emotion she's um artistically gifted spiritual and empath um affectionate but it's choosing your head over your heart in this situation is what it's telling me there now the two of ones is creating this new reality it's a decision has to make 
a decision has to be made and it's a good decision it's about you standing in your personal power within a situation and being bold about it something's in its infancy absolutely the page of pentacles can be quite slow going and frustrating but this is a new foundation in which to build with the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is the mission of the material gain and manifestation so it tells me you've manifested something now the obstacle is it coming into fruition and it's taking its time but it is getting there i can assure you we're going to what you should do we've got the three of wands the three of wands is absolutely awesome it's the young emperor of the three of wands it's growth it's work it's action it's insight and vision it's a leadership um could be unknown leadership in a role absolutely but it's movement forward what you should do is stand in your personal power and that would have come out again i'm sure it's standing in your personal power and moving forward boldly without apology now we do have another cup of love coming in for you and it can be quite intimidating because it's quite fast. So this Ace of Cups, I say that because we've got it with soulmate energy. The Ace of Cups is the new seed, okay? It's a new area of your heart. So if it's a relationship, absolutely go for it. But if it's entrepreneurial energy with a young emperor, this is a business that is going to speak to your absolute soul. Now... This opportunity is coming in. It's the seed of hope. It's a new area of the heart and a new relationship or spark can be indicated. And that's teamed with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is the love card. It's passion. It's talking about opposites attracting. It's soulmate energy. It can absolutely mean you getting in touch with your higher self with the Two of Cups. You know, it's that connection. It's when two become one. And if that's your higher self, it's like that merge of. And it's enabling you forward with the Three of Ones and to be the entrepreneurial energy that you actually want. If you are putting everything into work, but it's a love of the heart then absolutely go for it if this is a new relationship it's going to be beneficial to you it's a soulmate type of connection i'm getting here and then we're going to the outcome which is the world wowzers <laughs> doorways to the secrets of the universe everything is one so you've become one here and you're moving forward everything is one and it's absolutely stunning it completes the journey as again as i said it's the success it's the fun it's the integration and accepting yourself now it's telling me here with the eight of pentacles you know this is why it could be love or it could be something towards something you love as in the business sector because we've got the eight of pentacles that's the development and that's working de developing your skills it's paying attention to detail it's increased knowledge for greater skills and it's hard work it's also related to strength card so you using your inner strength because the sun is about to be illuminated for you this is your enlightenment this is happy this is joy this is the rebirth of energy it's finding your inner light you've been seeking here and we found it here so within the next two weeks it's such a huge progression of energy or whenever you find this you know you are enlightened it's like that childlike mentality and You've had this guidance, trustworthy guidance from the universe and it's telling you to move forward for it. Now, what happens often when a relationship breaks down and you journey forward alone, you know, that progression of energy after a tower moment, you gain that clarity as in you can do this for yourself. You can have that enthusiasm moving forward. You can build the life that you want to because here I can see you absolutely do. You're creating your own reality there and all throughout the read, you've got these new journeys, you've got the entrepreneurial energy and you're creating a new energy moving forward you've had this guidance from the universe it's going to be positive and it's going to be you're going to love it great fortune awaits so this can be for love and this can be for business because you can love the business you're you are creating and this new world this new job and it's moving forward so whatever that is my beautiful beautiful libra you're going to work for it absolutely you're developing yourself you're growing which is phenomenal because when we grow we set a high vibrational state and the sun is going to come out for you and it's going to illuminate your whole world now at the bottom of one pack we have the five of cups we do because we we've got the tower in the past here so this is crying over spilled milk you need to release yourself and move forward yes the cups are spilt but at the end of the day this lady here on the old tarot is holding one cup one cup only which is the ace of cups which you have up here so that is the new seed of hope and i want you to see that you need to balance your heart chakra out because i can see you've been hurt in the past so this is balancing the energies as you can see she's on land and in water get out grounding i say all the time on community page she's pouring from cup to cup that's her heart chakra that's where the focused energy needs to be is on your heart 
stay away from three dimensional BS and concentrate on you at this current time is what I would say. So there you go, my beautiful Libra. That is your read for the second half of May or whenever you find it. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me a thumbs up there completely private. Leave me a message below. I love connecting with your energy. Thank you for joining me for the last seven months. I've absolutely loved doing this um, and I couldn't do it without you watching. So lots of love from me, Lauren. And until next time, check out your 48 hourlyries and your daily angel messages. Bye bye for now.